Hi, I'm Marty Sandler. I'm the author of The Impossible Rescue, a book that I had such an incredible good, good time writing and more important, researching. I absolutely can answer that definitively. Um, in New Bedford, Massachusetts, where I grew up, when I was eight years old, I started the New Bedford Gazette. And my headline story for my first issue was, Mrs. Hershon's cat run over. And I could not wait to win the Pulitzer Prize with it, but it didn't happen. The interesting thing was, it was really the first thing I ever wrote for publication, which at eight wasn't bad. But then, I wrote a poem, and at the age of eight, Jack and Jill published it. And I can still remember it. Um, I made a big snowman, I made him round and fat, I gave him two big eyes of coal and a great big bunny. My goal has always been to make history come alive. And the best way I know of making history come alive is wherever I can to have the people in the story tell the story. I write about half my books for kids and half my books for adults. So I find that, that the books I write for young adults uh, sell as much for adults because I write them the same way. I think the best piece of advice was don't cut it short. Do your work. I can get, I can get, it, it, it's a paradox. I've written, I think, 90 books, 91. I'm old. <laughs> but even with that, I have a tendency to be lazy. You know, I have a tendency to look for short, short, short strokes, short corners. And I don't do that with my writing. I do it with my life. <laughs> I'm a great procrastinator or I'm a great, yeah, we don't really need to do that. But I don't do that with my life. And it always pays off. It's the biggest surprise of all to me. I get ma the fan mail I get, I eat it up. It's all about the research. When one, one does a book like this, it's all about the research. If you do your research right, and that's where you find the great stories. And if you don't find the great stories, there's no sense doing it. In doing research, you've got to be very dedicated, and you've got to work very hard, but you've also got to be very lucky in what you find. And would you believe there are three principles in this story? And I found the diary of all three. More important even, I suppose, or just as important, my editor here at uh, Candlewick asked me, uh, Marty, we really got to get some good pictures of the Arctic and stuff that would relate to this story. And so I went to my old haunt in the Bedford Whaling Museum, and as I'm looking through a collection they had never even known what it had ever been through, I said, oh my God, that's Jarvis. And then I look some more and I say, oh my God, that's where Berthold discovers the beacon that leaves. And what I was finding were actual pictures of that expedition, of that rescue mission. And I, told, I talked to the curators there who I know, and they said, oh my God, you've made some find. We're not embarrassed to tell you we didn't even know it.